that word blindness there, I couldn't see record. Right, hi everybody, uh, welcome to tonight's Business Builders. We're now in period four, bloody hell, years flying by, period four, week three. So, uh, I'll say it's, this year is moving fast, so if you're doing a 90 day plan, your first 90 days is uh, already up. So let's go through, uh, this is last week's top three retailers. And there's Steve, uh, oh in fact I can see Steve on the screen. Give us a nod, was that your biggest ever weekly? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I said we're on silent, so I thought that was uh, a big one. So we got, we got England there, two and a half thousand quid, well done Steve. We got Wales, with Ian down in Kidwelly over 600 quid and then we got Scotland with Kareem and uh, 369 Ooh. was it more than that I think it might have been 369 BP so I might have mixed messed up with the figures again but uh, I think Kareem's order was over 400 quid so let's see if Kareem's there or oh, can't see her on here but uh, well done, uh, it just shows that it works all over the country, England, Scotland, Wales, and we just need somebody in Ireland now, we haven't got any Irish distributors, so there's a little challenge for you, sponsor somebody in Ireland, and uh, let's uh, see if we can get them on the top three, so well done, but we've got to just see if we get this chat. Fourth out of that. Cheers, Karina. I knew it was over 400 quid. So, so fourth, £442.50 to be exact. So, well done, Karina. Definitely, uh, I think that's your biggest one so far. So, well done on that. And last week, placing the first orders, Marie. Uh, first order got in. So, well done on that one, Marie. Um, what's that? I can't remember. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'll uh, switch switch everything off. But it's that time, mum's bedtime, so uh, she's just go going to bed. So as you can tell, I'm up stove. Uh, welcome rewards. Krista got a first one, and Danielle got a second two. So uh, for Arthur, who's joining us as a guest still, he definitely says he's going to sign in another another week come April. Uh, welcome rewards, uh, what you get in your first 60 days, you can qualify for 250 free catalogues or if you're just doing the online you can get the free drop ships. So it's really worth new people getting stuck in as quickly as they can because not only are they going to get free catalogues, free drop ships, they're obviously going to get more money. Because the more orders you get, the more money you make. And if you get it timed right, hit the 10% in your first period and make even more money. So, Krista and Danielle, off to a good start there. And i say so we're period four, week three now. So, we're over halfway through the beat your best. So, if you're not on track, then look what you need to do to hit your retailing and your sponsoring and really have a push this period don't leave it till the last week of next period because it's hard to catch up then so look at the weeks we've got left and divide it by what you need to do still and then try to do a little bit more than you need to do on a weekly basis so that you get it fitted in before the end uh, i know quite a few of you have already well in fact i would have thought steve P, Steve Payton must have done the um, the retailing personal best already. And I know um, Steve and Kathleen definitely got the, the sponsoring one in the bag. So let's say I've got a, a period and a half to get the rest to beat your personal best. Um, obviously, next month, April, it's the bank holiday, and this is the worst one of the year. It's the double bank holiday. So I'll say plan your catalogues there. And one of the things, obviously, you're going to get is, if you're doing the catalogues, you're going to get more stragglers. 
because you'll probably get people going away that week. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's off term as well. Uh, so you might find some of the schools are off. So you probably get more um, stragglers than normal. But keep a good record of your stragglers and just keep going back for them. And obviously you should have seen from Clean Easy that that weekend they're actually moving offices. So hopefully after the bank holiday they'll uh, have the new offices open and uh, the phones will all work, the computers will all work and uh, so it's a momentous day for Clean Easy as long as everything goes to spec. Um, so I know what it's like moving offices and warehouses and workplaces. I've done that a couple of times in the RAF and uh, anything can happen. So uh, I hope they've got it all planned and hopefully after the bank holiday they'll all be back with us. And then the big move comes in a, a month or two's time when they move the, uh, the warehouse and all the stock, which will be even worse. Um, we're coming up to uh, cut-off time for these catalogues. Uh, switch off on the 13th of April. So if you've got any of these catalogues, you can still keep putting them out and now we've got the new version, like the Spring Extra, we've got a new version of that. We've got the new K-Live to go. I haven't had a, a look through there to see if there's the same products are in there. Uh, but if you don't want to use these old ones for blanket dropping, uh, just use them for doing a sample catalogue and dropping them off. And as soon as I bought my mobile phone up to Stoke this week, I'll be dropping some of my old K-Lives off with my uh, little tickets. I've got, I'm all, all prepared. I've got my little sample ones. I didn't drop them last week because it got my mobile phone number on and uh, I didn't bring my mobile up here. So hopefully this week I'll drop a couple hundred old catalogues out with flyers and see if I get any orders, see if I get anybody asking about the business. The new catalogues, um, I'll say this is for obviously for new people joining now, they'll get the, the latest main catalogue and the Clean Easy Extra, which is like the replacement for the, the Spring Extra. And the K-Life to go, um, I haven't seen, hopefully there's a number where you can order those, but those are the ones that went to the top retailers. And I know Steve must have been, uh, Steve Payton must have got to 400, I would have thought, for being a top 100 retailer. Are we in the top 100, Steve, on your email? I'm not ahead if you were. Now, uh, must, must have been pretty close, I would have thought. So those are the all the current catalogues now. And let's say, just get them out. And uh, let's say, they've got plenty life on those. And if you sign new people in, they'll be getting the new main catalogue and the new Clean Easy Extra. And so I've seen authors on here. Those will be the catalogues that you'll be getting uh, next week when you, you register. So that's those. Um, some of you might have seen this before, but I've had uh, this last week, um, basically a, 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 an SED ringing me up, asking me for a, a training I'd put out, and I couldn't really work out what it was. Uh, but it was a post that uh, I put on uh, the Clean Easy Facebook success group last year. And I didn't realise it went back as far as July 2016. And so what I thought I'd do is just go through this because there's a lot of people who've come in who wouldn't have seen this. And so I'm just going to go through this. And basically, I'm going to give you some bad news, uh, but stick with it because there's some good news at the end of it. And basically, it's your business going downhill. You know, are you where you want to be? Or is it going backwards? And some of the ways to look at your business, if it's going back, and let's say it is 
an up and down. This is a business, it never runs smooth like that. You're going to have ups and downs all the way, but you've got to ride the downs and force your way back into the ups and keep doing that. But if you feel as though your business is going downhill, then I'm going to give you a few things that you could check on and just see if you're doing any of these. So let's go through this list. It's quite a big list, so I'm not going to go in detail on all of them. And basically, how to stop your clean, easy business from growing. And this is not a comprehensive list. It's just some that I put on a post that uh, basically received good reviews last year. And uh, I forgot about it until a couple of people this last two weeks, two different people have been asking me about it. So, uh, well, how to stop your clean, easy business from growing. So basically stop advertising, free and paid advertising. So stop doing your advertising. Stop talking about the business. Well, I'm saying that is free. Um, we heard Ian a couple of weeks ago on the business, on the inner circle, he does talk about the business and that is a free way of doing it, the three foot rule and uh, uh, talking to your wall market and stop working on you and personal development, you'll hear that coming from lots and lots of speakers when you go to the events. The main thing you need to work on is you personal development you've got to work on yourself it's that six inches between your ears that are going to develop you as a person but if you stop working on that and you're not going to develop and your business won't develop stop reading and i put on here even if it's only the team talk which is just reminded me i was going to mention team talk tonight is when the team talk comes out Make sure you read it cover to cover because there's some really good stories in there that you can use when you're talking to prospects. Because if you're talking to somebody who's got three kids, there's a story in the team talk of somebody who's moving the business forward. They've got three kids or five kids. You can relate to that. And one thing on the team talk is always when there's a competition in there, make sure you enter that competition I've won it twice, and was it Steve Moores? You, you won. Yeah, I thought so. And uh, so enter the competition. It's free, and you might get something out of it. So stop listening to training motivational CDs, and stop listening, watching training motivational videos. Let's say you got the YouTube, and I know Steve Moores does this because we're talking about um, going to Swindon on Sunday about Rob Foster and Steve said oh I virtually know him because I've watched all his really videos so so we you, you'll put a you'll be able to shake his hand on Sunday Steve so but this is if you want to you stop your business from growing stop doing these things stop contacting your sponsor your sponsors there for helping you they're not going to do it for you they're not uh, social services, they're not Citizens Advice Bureau, but they can help you with the business. And if you contact your sponsor, then they know that you want to move your business forward. But if you stop contacting them, they've got people who will be contacting them and they'll be talking to those because they are showing that they want to move the business forward. And uh, I'm sorry about this, Arthur, but uh, you keep contacting me. I know you haven't joined yet, but uh, I think you know everything nearly now. And stop contacting your team. I say if you've started to build a team, you need to keep in regular contact with your team. Ideally on the phone, if your team answer the phone, or Zoom like we're doing now, or the worst case is text. Um, and a lot of these days, obviously a lot of people using Facebook Messenger and that. Um, stop attending the webinars. You know, the webinars are there, and if you've got a team, try to encourage your team to watch these webinars because the one thing you might need to move your business forward could be on that webinar. And stop attending the workshops. This is if you want your business to stop growing. Stop attending the bigger events. And I've got a really pop-up in the way, so I can't move to the next slide. 
So, uh, so more things. Oh, I didn't cancel that one. Stop attending uh, the bigger events. Stop learning about the business. Clean, easy, and MLM. I'll say you, you need to know all about clean, easy. It's worth knowing some of the, the past. And I always say it's not the past that's the really interesting thing. It, it's interesting, but it's not the thing that matters to you and people coming into your team. It's the plans for the future. If you join a business and they've got no plans for the future, then you, you're in a static, static business. But I think for all of you who are in the business, you know that Clean Easy have got plans. And yes, they actually tell us the plans these days. And stop listening. Now, this is listening to your customers, listening to people you're talking to about the business, listening to your team, listening to your sponsor. Stop sharing. Now, this is a sharing business. As I said, you've got something that's good, then pass it out to your team, pass it out to the bigger team. I uh, just had a uh, Skype call with Ian earlier, and he shared something with me about AGEL or AGEL. And now we've actually found some videos of AGEL products that we might be able to put a, a page together for people who want to sell the AGEL products. So that's something else on the to do list. And I said that will be coming up. Ian sharing with the team. Um, stop working the numbers and I say you've got to keep working the numbers so if you want your business to go down look at what you're doing is it less than you did last week is it less than you did last month and if it is and you stop your business is just going to go downhill and stop paying clean easy what you owe them don't shoot the golden goose uh, this is one of the biggest no-nos in clean easy and I put it on the weekly update last week about stop. If your account goes on stop, you've got to reevaluate your business. Now, as soon as you get the money off the customers, well, basically, as soon as you get the order, deliver it to the customers and pay clean easy as quick as you can. If you've got £200 worth of products, you owe clean easy 160 quid, 170 quid. As soon as you've delivered 170 quid's worth, pay clean easy that you might have another 30 quids worth to deliver gives you more of an incentive because all that's your profit so always pay clean easy first and stop being involved stop being involved with the team on facebook and stop evolving i'll say getting bigger and better yourself stop believing in yourself and if you do these things your business will go down and you'll become not what you want to be so stop supporting the clean easy business business outside of you stop planning what you do to grow your business stop putting the catalogs out you know, on the retail side that's instant if you stop putting your catalogs out your business is going to go right down and um, stop advertising on facebook and other social media if you're doing the online side if you stop that your business will go Stop recruiting on Facebook. And stop smiling. You know, if you do this, your business is going to go down. It's going to spiral down very, very quick. So there's a good list of here to things to look at. Just look how many of those things have you stopped. And that could give you the reason if your business is going down, then that might be one of the reasons. And stop being a positive person. Okay, there's lots of bad things happening and negative things happening but you can always be a positive person it's not what happens it's what you do about it that matters stop looking for the positive in every situation um i'll say if, even the outer stocks you know it's there are quite a few at the moment with the issues that are going on um i look at the positive side come this friday I've got about 80 quid's worth of orders if they all come in before I even pick the catalogues up because that's when the back orders come in. So there's always a, a positive somewhere. If you haven't got your orders, it gives you time to talk to that customer, explain to the customer, oh, sorry, they're selling really well and we should have it with you next time. Sorry about this and do it with a smile and I've never 
lost the customer with the out of stocks. And so, but if you stop being looking at the positive and, like I say, stop helping others to succeed, especially in your team, your site team, if you do that, then you get, it's like a cancer creeps in and your business will go down. Uh, so, like I say, it's a nice positive business builders tonight. I'll see if we can turn that around. And so, if you don't want this to happen, then stop. I say, just stop what you're doing. Don't have a think about it. And the good news is, the good news is, if you want your business to start to grow, all you need to do is change the word stop in all of the above statements, if anybody can remember any of them. But what I'm going to do is, for people who haven't seen this, I'm going to post this on the Freedom Group so you can go through the complete list and think, mm, yes, I'm doing that. Oh, yes, I'm doing that. Oh, I'm okay at that one. But if you read it through again and think, right, get rid of that stop and say, start doing this. Start looking for the positives. Start putting more catalogs out. Start paying clean easy. Start posting more. Start advertising more. Then your business will start to grow. If you want your business to grow even faster, then replace the word start with do lots of, do lots of catalog, do lots of advertising, and your business will move forward faster. So I'll say have a look at the full list and see if any of it relates to you. Um, as it says there, the more you do, the more you get. If you start doing less, then you'll get that negative downhill spiral coming in. At the end of the day, remember what Jim Rowan says, profits are better than wages. You know, with clean easy, you can get profits. So you can decide on your income. In a job, your boss decides on your income. So you've got that choice. I'll say with clean easy, you're in control. The only person who can affect your business in clean easy is the person looking at you in the mirror. And every time you walk past the mirror, of people who have been at our house, uh, you'll see there's quite a few mirrors about. And even in the downstairs toilet, there's uh, a mirror there that's got above there. The person who decides on the success of your business is looking at you now. So you can't go anywhere in our house without thinking, oh shit, it's down to me. If it is, it's down to me. So I say at the end of the day, if you want your business to move forward, then you need to do the things that you need to do. And quite often you don't feel like doing them. You know, you've got to, if you're in that comfort zone, you've got to push yourself to get out of it. <clears throat> so have a look at your business. I say when we're finished tonight, I'll put that list up, go through, see if any of them relate to you, and then reevaluate your business. Is it where you want it to be? If not, see if there's any of those things where you can remove the stop and put the start. If you're doing all of those things, get rid of the start and do lots of. So, and then your business can move further, further forward more faster. Um, right, that's a bit of a training tonight. Uh, so, Thursday, um, Inner Circle for people who want to sponsor. I'll say we'll more about that. 10 Steps Workshops. Um, the Birmingham one, for the ones who were looking at that one, uh, they've actually got the new dates now. And it did change to a hotel in Solihull. But now they've changed it back to the original venue and all the new dates are actually on the uh, 10 steps site now. And the next one is the 23rd of April. So if you've got people within your team within an hour of Solihull, Birmingham, then it's well worth getting them to go to that one. And there is a train station, uh, literally five minute walk, and that's Dorridge. So uh, that's that one.
Uh, next. Uh, Swindon, uh, obviously it's this Sunday. I know quite a few of you are, are going down there. Like I said, it'll be a good one for people who haven't been before. Don't forget to take a notebook and pens and food and drink. Uh, there is food and drink there, but uh, it's like any event, there's usually queues. Um, I don't know what the prices are like there because I've never paid for food. Uh, I always take my own, my butties and a, a drink. Uh, but I'd say it's going to be a really good day, that one, with Michael Katkar. So have you got any questions for Michael? Um, in fact, at the, the big one last week, he actually said on the stage, if you've got any questions, ask me and I'll give you the answers. So if you've got anything you want to ask, then make sure you speak to him because he'll give you the answers. Might not be the answer that you want, but uh, if you don't ask, you don't get, do you? So that's oh, bloody pop-ups. Steve Payton is online. That's, right, next slide. Obviously, the Clean Easy Live. Like I say you should have all seen the dates and speakers for that. And I'll say all the, the venues and timings. Oh, in fact, just make a note. I've got to change that uh, Solly All one. Not events. Solly All. Do that as soon as I've hung up on this one. Um, right, that's that. I'll just go to the next one. Uh, next business build is next Monday, the 27th. And obviously that will be the, no, that's today. I didn't change that. So <laughs> I thought that date rang a bell then. Because uh, I was going to say, if you're on uh, big advertising, make sure you use your emails, do your broadcasts in the next couple of days, because it's almost the 31st, which is Friday, is the last day of this week, of uh, this month. So make sure you use all your emails up. Uh, so the next business builders will be on the 3rd of April. And uh, so if you want to get on to that, then we'll see you. <coughs> oh, God. God. Voice is gone. So that's uh, that. Like I say, I'm, I'm up in Stokes. So I will be hopefully getting more work done on uh, on that tomorrow. I think we've just found another page we can add on that to help you. Uh, but what I'll do is, for those who are looking at AGEL, it's a, it's a site. I'll, I'll put the link on the Freedom Group one there. But what I'll do after this, I'll put that full training, that full stop and start thing. So you can have a look through that and evaluate your business. So, right, I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to open up the mic because we've got a five minutes left. Just going to stop. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to stop the uh, sharing. Right, you're all there. I'm just going to stop the recording.